بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی سیلف اتشام امید اور ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کمپیٹر نیٹک زون فور انیدر ایکسائٹنگ لیکچر ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی بھی بھی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ کیشے میمری کیشے میمری ایز ای فاس میمری دیر ایکس ایز ای بفر بیٹوین رام اور سی پی او ناؤ ڈیز موس اف تا کمپیوٹرز یوز کیشے میمری which speeds the process of computing by storing frequently used instructions and data. Cache is a static RAM or SRAM. Static RAM is a type of a RAM that can hold data without needing to be constantly refreshed. Why cache memory? What is the purpose of the cache memory? And why is it used in a cache memory? These are the all questions that might hit your brain. And the answer is the cache memory is used to reduce the average time to access data from the main memory. Computers can have different level of cache or different types of cache based on a CPU architecture. The most common types are L1, L2 and L3 cache. L1. L1 cache is built in into the processor chip. Therefore, it is close to the CPU. Access time of L1 is fastest among all cache. Size range of the level 1 cache is between 8 KB and 64 KB. Level 1 cache is usually split in two ways, instruction cache and data cache. The instruction cache deals with the information about the operation that the CPU has to perform, whereas the data cache holds the data on which the operation is to be performed. Whatever the operations that the CPU has to perform, that information about information operations is stored in instruction cache, and the data on which the operation is to be performed is stored in data cache. L2 cache or level 2 cache is slower than L1 cache, but it is bigger in size than that of L1. The size ranges between 256 KB to 8 MB. Level 2 cache holds data that is likely to be accessed by the CPU next. Level 3 cache is slowest of all in the speed. It is biggest in size among all caches, whereas the side range be size range between 4 MB to 50 MB. So these are the questions that uh, might be asked in exams, in in various exams, uh, like uh, if you are applying for a NAST, if you are applying for a UET, for if you are applying for ECAT. So these are all the questions that might be asked in the test. That is the size of these caches. So you can see the diagram here. This is a CPU and this is a level 1 cache. As I said that it is built into the processor chip. So that means it is close to the CPU. You can see here the L1 cache is close to the CPU. So therefore it is speed is a fastest among all caches. After L1 cache, you can see the level 2 cache here. Level 2 cache is a little bit away from the CPU. So its speed is slower as compared to the L1 cache. So L1 cache in case it's the fastest, then we have a fast speed. Next one we have is L3 cache which is further away from the CPU and its speed is less fast and one, once it move away from the L3 cache then the speeds become much slower. So the cache that is close to the CPU is fastest and like I have said that L1 cache is smaller in size, L2 cache is a bit bigger than L1 and L3 is bigger than L1 and L2 so that's all for today if you like this video 
you can ask you can share it if you have any question you can ask in the comment section I will definitely respond there and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a great day